What's up, Smart Homers? My name's Aaron. Brian from the YouTube channel Automate Your Life invited myself and a bunch of other creators to participate in IFTTT's Energy Challenge by creating a video showing you how you can save energy and money in your smart home. If you don't know what IFTTT is, it's a cloud service that can act as an IoT hub for your smart home, allowing you to connect different devices and services in order to fully integrate them one with another. The challenge is to find a way to connect different devices, hubs, and services together in order to save energy in your daily life. If you want to participate in this challenge yourself, you can go to the Google form that's linked in the description and describe what you would do to save energy and give an estimate of your energy savings. At the end of this video, I'll leave a link to a playlist with the videos from the other creators that participated in this challenge. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that I've saved money in my smart home using devices connected via Home Assistant. The first way that I've saved money and energy is through the use of smart curtains. According to the US Department of Energy, about 30% of a home's heating energy is lost through windows. And when drawn during cold months, most typical drapes and curtains can actually reduce the heat loss from a warm room up to 10%. In October 2021, I began using smart curtains on three large sets of windows in my home. I created an automation that opened them every morning at sunrise and closed them every evening at sunset. If you take a look at my natural gas usage data for my energy provider, there's a significant decrease in the usage in most of the last few months of 2021 and the first few of 2022. I can't say that the decreased natural gas usage from last winter to this winter is solely due to the use of these smart curtains, but I took a look at the average temperatures from this winter compared to last winter for my area, and this winter was colder meaning I would need more heat, you would think. Even with these colder temperatures, the gas usage in my house has gone down this winter from last winter without any other major changes. Based on current prices, I've saved about $110 in the last six months. And since May would mark the end of the colder months, we probably won't see any more savings like this. Now, this doesn't take into account the fact that there's probably savings by closing my curtains during the hottest part of the day, which is another automation that I've set up for the summer months. The next way that I've saved energy costs in my home was by using smart plugs with power monitoring capabilities to monitor different appliances and devices in my home and identifying areas where I could decrease that power usage. I also use an Emporia View Utility Connect to communicate with my smart meter via Zigbee to get an overall power usage of my house. Pulling all of this data together into Home Assistant, I was able to look at it all and determine areas where I could reduce power usage. The first area was my PC, which I left running on and awake all the time. Monitoring the usage of my workstation, I was able to change the power settings in Windows so that it sleeps when not in use, and then verify that less power is being used. Originally, my workstation setup was using about 31.4 kilowatt hours per week, but after changing the settings on my PC, it dropped to 22.3 kilowatts per week average. Based on the current energy prices, I'm saving $43 per year just by changing some settings in my PC. The second appliance I looked at was the dishwasher. And this one didn't turn out to be as big of an energy savings as I'd hoped, but it's still something. The dishwasher has an option for heat dry, which turns on a heating element in the washer to speed dry the dishes. This option really isn't necessary for us to dry the dishes. And my wife was asking me if it would save energy by not using it. This was the perfect opportunity to use a Shelly 1PM in order to determine that. I installed the Shelly 1PM in line with the dishwasher and began monitoring the power usage while using heat dry and without. 
There is obviously some reduction in power usage because now you're not putting power into this heating element. And based on current energy prices, I'm saving about $5 a year by not using that heat dry setting. These energy savings are small, but little changes add up to a lot. I'm still using these power monitoring plugs throughout my house to monitor a bunch of different appliances just to make sure there aren't any failures or degradation of the efficiency of these appliances. I'm also using contact sensors to check doors to make sure they've not been left open, especially during the cold or warm months, and also leak sensors to watch for water leaks. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the link that I mentioned at the end of this video to check out the playlist of videos from a bunch of different creators who all participated in this challenge. I hope this video shows you that connected devices in a smart home really can save you a lot of money and it's year over year. Don't forget, that really adds up. If you add up all the energy savings that I've outlined in this video, I'm saving about $158 a year, which is pretty significant when you think about the fact that that is more than an Amazon Prime membership costs yearly, at least right now, or a Netflix account. If you came here from another creator's channel, take a look at some of my other videos to see the different types of smart home device comparisons that I've been doing lately with contact sensors, motion sensors, and more. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.